My name is Martin Zwierlein. I'm an assistant professor at MIT. Just started in August 2007, um, building up a new lab here on ultra-cold atoms, the coldest matter in the universe. We discovered a, a novel form of high temperature superfluidity. High temperature meaning here it all happens at 100 nanokelvin, but uh, the high refers to the fact that if you translate that gas to the situation of electrons moving in a metal, then this metal would be superconducting already far above room temperature. Research has to be, for us, curiosity driven. We like to look around corners and try to discover new pathways to, to an outstanding problem or actually discover new problems and then hopefully the solutions to it. We should be open-minded to uh, look into new directions and not have this strict plan of what to do in the next uh, 10 years exactly, step by step. We will not end up doing great research that way. RLE is, is a fantastic environment to work in. It uh, keeps your back free of all the problems and hassles you, you might uh, think of having in, in this business. Then, of course, there's a whole building full of brilliant researchers around. So whenever you have a question uh, on the latest uh, research of some Nobel Prize winner, you just go a couple of floors up and talk to the guy. You have all the students and the professors on one side of the hallway, all the labs on the other side of the hallway. It's just one long thing. It's not like a labyrinth of different little uh, small hallways, one office here, one office there. No, you constantly bump into people and uh, uh, can ask them for a coffee and then talk to them, get new ideas. And it's this vibrant exchange which drives us here. It's really fantastic and very important. When I started to teach classical mechanics, it was just great. Uh, you get these enthusiastic, brilliant young minds and, and they come in awe and are very impressionable. And then you feed them. They only want to be fed. They're like little um, sponges that uh, just suck up all the knowledge they can get and, and you feed them and you feel that you're not fast enough, you have to give them more because they, they, they keep asking, they don't, don't stop asking. So in the first class I just told them a little bit about my research uh, on, on ultra-cold atoms and how we can actually cool atoms using laser light and they were just really amazed and like, wow that's fantastic and I could feel that this really excites them, this actually changes their thinking a little bit and if I can manage that some of them decide to go into science and maybe go into physics, um, then it has paid off. My message to young physicists is um, be always curious about whatever you see, try to understand it and don't, don't think, oh, it's, I bet it's too difficult. We were struggling, for example, with our gas for, for a year. And we always tried to rotate it, nothing happened. And you could have said, well, it's horrible, let's just give up. We actually were at that point where we thought, we have to do something else. This is horrible, this doesn't lead anywhere. Um, but it was at that last day where we said, well, we should give it another try. At that day, we actually saw the first vortices. It was good that we tried one more time. And uh, the message is never to give up. Just try to, to go through it. It should be there. Nature is kind.